GoPro on top of that helmet. Delane Hughes. Right, guys so today is friday and tomorrow is saturday and tomorrow is the louisiana equine council meeting annual meeting um for 2024 i think their meetings are at the beginning of the year i'm not 100 percent sure this is my first one it's my first time guys <laughs> today is friday we're just basically gonna chill here at the house i'm not gonna do anything too crazy with foxy i practiced her last night she did amazing uh i just need to work on me getting my confidence back and then her being more confident because I feel like West Monroe kind of shook us both up a little bit. Nothing too major, but it was just like something just does not seem right with Foxy and it may be just me being in my own head. But yeah, I feel like this isn't talked about enough, honestly. Um, but we'll, we'll dive into that at a different time. We, we'll do that at a different time. Um, so tonight I want to try a recipe that I have seen that I have not yet tried. But first, I'm gonna go feed, get the horses, put in their jammies. I think I've explained what jammies is on this channel. If you're new here, jammies is their winter blankets. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I like to call it their jammies. They usually get them at night. So, but we're gonna go ahead and put them on now. It is just before five o'clock. It's still a little bit daylight out, um, but the wind has been blowing like crazy. It is 48 degrees. So, that that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to check the weather to see if they're going to sleep in the stalls tonight or if they're going to sleep outside. Last night they slept outside and they got rained on this morning. Not a big deal. It was January, 70 degrees outside this morning. Explain that to me. Only in Louisiana. And tonight it's going to be 33. <laughs> so... We're getting all the seasons. We're getting all the seasons this weekend. I'm going to go feed them. Then I'm going to go ahead and try out this new recipe. And then I need to finish editing the vlog that's going to go up on Sunday. At this point, you've already seen it. It's the West Monroe vlog. But my goal for 2024 is to have my vlogs done, edited, scheduled to be posted on every Sunday. This is what I'm coming into 2024 with. So, today is Friday, and this West Monroe vlog is going to be posted on Saturday, or on Sunday. So, yeah. So, the vlog the Sunday before was edited and everything. Like, I, I was, like, on my game, guys. I had that thing scheduled by that Wednesday before. Here we are. We're already slacking a little bit. I say we're already slacking. It's actually still going to be on time and everything. But, yeah, I just need to edit the race part. <laughs> I have not, like, I just got the GoPro footage put on my phone, so that way I could go ahead and edit the whole race run kind of deal. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed that vlog. We're just running a little bit behind here. But, I have not yet decided if I'm going to try to do some bonus vlogs here and there. Y'all comment down in the uh, comments below if y'all do want some bonus vlogs, like, in the middle of the week, maybe. Because I do feel like I'm going to end up over recording and have like vlogs backtracked like two weeks in advance so two to three weeks probably I don't know at this point but it may be fine it may be fine it may just be a busy two weeks here but <laughs> who knows um but yeah if y'all want bonus vlogs let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying this vlog uh enjoy if you guys are enjoying my channel, feel free to share it um, and all kinds of fun sorts and things. Subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell below so that you know when I'm going to post. And if I do end up posting bonus vlogs, y'all will get notified. So we're going to get things done real quick and I will touch back with y'all later. All right, so I'm not going to show the whole cooking process because this is going to be just me trying it out. I like to go to Mongolian Grills. I have not been to one in a while. So, I'm gonna try something like, just some stuff that I would usually put on. Like, if you've been to a Mongolian grill, you get a bowl and then you have like, just basically like, all kinds of just raw ingredients, like your meats, your vegetables, all kinds of stuff there. And you fill it up in the bowl 
and you bring it to them all in this bowl and you get a couple sauces and you go and they basically go and cook it in the back and then bring it all back out prepared. So I'm trying that tonight. I found a recipe. It's not really a Mongolian kind of recipe, but I'm going to try to turn it into a like a Mongolian recipe. So we're going to see how this goes. It's probably not going to end very well, but we're going to see. I will show y'all the after. I, I was planning on recording my reaction to my food, but my dad came home <laughs> and I thought I was gonna be home alone for a good couple hours. And my dad likes to laugh at me whenever I record cause he's just, yeah, he think, he he finds all this hilarious. But I didn't want to record and have him laughing at me and then make me laugh and stuff. But yeah, so, the food, the, the flavor of it was not bad. The texture of it was not bad. Like, it was, it was a pretty good, like, little dish. The thing is, is I expected more juice, I guess you would say. It was kind of dry to me. Not, like, so, so dry. Like, it, it, it still had some juice in it and everything like that. Like, it wasn't, like, extremely dry, but it needed, I feel like it needed a little bit more. So... And also, like, what that was, was, like, a honey garlic shrimp and broccoli kind of recipe that I was following with rice. And I put noodles in it. So, I don't think I'm going to put as much honey next time. It did taste really sweet to me, and I didn't really want it to be sweet. So, I don't think we're going to do... If we do a little bit of honey, I think it'll be just, like, the bare minimum. <laughs> and maybe do a little bit more soy sauce to it. So, I don't know. But all in all, like, for my very first try of this, it was not bad. <laughs> so, um, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a recipe that I'm going to have to play with and that I'm going to continue to play with as we go on. But I do, I, the flavor was really good to me. So, who knows? guys so i am finally leaving to go to oberlin it's a little bit later than i would have liked to but this this took forever so and when i say like this took forever it was mainly my eyelashes i need to learn how to put on eyelashes guys so if you are a girly that had learned on youtube or something comment a link down below of a good tutorial because your girl is lost these these I would like to go ahead and separate from. These are magnetic. <laughs> yeah. Said, but these are magnetic lashes. They have done phenomenal for what I've needed them for. I'm scared to do glue. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared to do the glue. So, if you wear lashes and you find a good tutorial on YouTube of how to do them, please comment the link down below because I am lost when it comes to all this girly stuff because I don't I don't usually dress up or anything so but yeah here's here's the makeup for the day I like to do a lot of like natural kind of looking stuff like the eyeshadow natural neutrals yeah the lips is literally just a lip liner just a lip liner so <laughs> Yeah, and then I have concealer. I don't, I don't even really wear foundation. I wear concealer. All right, so I got all the way down to the end of the driveway and went to go grab my sunglasses and realized they weren't in the truck. So we had to turn around and go get them. So now I've got them and I will see y'all in Oberlin. <music> up and ate. Now we're coming over here to watch vaulting. I 
I've never seen anybody in the state do this. So we're about to watch. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to do a short little unboxing segment. I'm sorry if y'all are shaking just just a smidge, but we're going to we're doing this out in the barn right now. My dad is home and he's on the phone. So we're going to do this out here while the horses are eating. And I feel like this unboxing is very fitting for being out, out in the barn. The packaging is adorable. So that's the back of it. The front obviously has addresses. We're not doing that, but... So, and I have little kid scissors because this is what is out here in the barn to cut hay strings. If you know, you know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this package with the hay string scissors. Now, I had recently seen this company and looking at it and kind of thinking into it for a perspective, I thought like that makes total sense. It's very genius. And I had, was going through looking at all the different stuff and things. Foxy is number one, a very sensitive horse. If y'all haven't really noticed. And if y'all haven't seen any of the vlogs where I really talk about it. And so this makes, this makes total sense to me to get for her. So this is, this is a Foxy present present for the most part and I am very very much excited I had ended up starting following this company on Instagram because like I had noticed that they started liking some of my stuff and then I was like if you follow me on Instagram and then you see me like go on there and like your stuff like it's like every now and then I'll go through and see who's like if I notice names that keep on constantly popping up I'll go visit profiles I'll spam their account and everything and just see what's all going on. What I mean spam layer account, I mean like I go through and like a whole bunch of their stuff. So just so I let them know like I'm aware that they're following me and that they have been liking my posts and everything and in return I like to do the same. With this company I noticed that they had recently been liking my stuff and so I was like what is this? This is this is a weird kind of name and I think it's pronounced like this. It's Boca brand? Boca or Baca brand? I can't, I don't know. It sounds good either way, but I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and so they had posted on their um, Instagram page and everything, like on their story, that there was a professional barrel racer who had qualified to the NFR and everything that was getting one of these. And the I had answered correctly, ended up getting like a little discount code. And I was like, I've got to try one of these. So we got one for Foxy. And if you are following Baca Brand or Boca Brand in, or if you are, thank you. The packaging is very beautiful. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, there's a little, there's a cute little envelope in there. I like the envelope. That's a nice little touch. So yeah, this is the company. And we've got a sticker, adorable. Thank you for your order. Very nice, very cute, very cute. So that is something that came along with the package. I love the stickers, guys, I love the stickers. That's a cute little addition to the packages but okay so this for those of y'all who may be a little bit confused this is a curb chain if you are not in the horse industry a curb chain is simply part of the bridle that goes underneath the horse's chin also known as a chin strap but i call it a curb chain i've been calling it a curb chain for years curb chain chin strap it's part of the bridle it goes underneath um, and basically like the fundamentals of it really is like, if you go through and like you say, you have a bit or a hackamore, like you pull back on it, this is supposed to kind of apply pressure to kind of help with your stop in a sense. So like they, they feel that a lot on Foxy's bridle. She uses the Martha Josie million dollar bit. And so that has a chain underneath it. Like I said in the beginning, she's a very sensitive horse, so this is her. And the thing with these are, I don't know 
what the beads are originally, if they're plastic, if they're wood, I don't know, but they have a silicone option. So these are silicone beads and they are black and leopard slash cheetah. So this is brand new. This will be added on to Foxy's bridal. We're gonna try her with this and see how she likes it. Um, and this this will be really on her bridal. I may go ahead and get one for Seze. I'm still trying to figure out which bridal she's gonna be wearing. I don't know if her and her mom are gonna share the same bridal. They have been, but I think I might go ahead and give her Sonny's bridal. So, like his old setup, which is basically the same thing, except for his, his bit, it is like the Martha Josie million dollar bit, but instead of a dog bone, it is just a twisted snaffle. So, but it's got the same like nose band chain on the bottom. So potentially getting one for Seze in the future if me and Foxy like these. So very much, I feel like this is, I feel like this is a very good investment, honestly, because with Foxy being sensitive and everything, I think that the silicone little beads are going to work for her for the most part. And yeah, so thank you so, so much, Boca Baca. I don't know how you pronounce it. Either way is nice. <laughs> but thank you so much for the package. Very beautiful wrapping and everything. And we will be trying this very soon. Now back to our regular content. All right, so our first demonstration to watch was the vaulting and a little bit of background. The trainer of the girls, she actually did vaulting in high school when she was younger. And I don't know, I can't remember when she told us that she started, but I think that she competed on a high school and potentially a college level. I don't quite remember how long that she said that she's been doing this, but she did do a really good job and had came over from California. So whenever they had moved over here from California, she noticed that Louisiana didn't really have any kind of vaulting and she wanted to go ahead and introduce this aspect of equestrian sports over here to Louisiana. So a lot of these girls have probably only been doing this I think for a year is majority of them have been doing it like under a year and I think her daughter is the one that has been doing it for like a year year and a half so here is her information and I will attach it just a second to blow it up a little bit more on in the text and it will also be in the description of this video. I had talked to her after the demonstration and she said that she would be more than happy to let me go ahead and post this on the vlogs just so that if anybody is in Oberlin and wants to go ahead and do vaulting or if you have a child that wants to be interested in vaulting, it's kind of a mix between dance and gymnastics on a horse. So if maybe you know somebody like that and live near Oberlin that you might want to send your kid do lessons, uh, she said that she does have spots available. Not only does she teach vaulting, she is also a farrier. I have I don't think that I mentioned her name yet. Her name is Miss Shannon, and you can find her also by calling. I think that number is for her farrier and for her vaulting. So if you are in the area and you're looking for another farrier, you can go ahead and use her. This is her working with a yearling, I believe is what the baby's age is. But also she was telling us that this was his first time hauling out somewhere and only his second trimming. So this baby actually handled all of this really, really well. And he was just kind of checking out everything that was going on behind her because uh, they were also working on another little demonstration.
to three o'clock. We watched a couple of different demonstrations today. Um, they did a vaulting demonstration and y'all already seen all the all that right there. But yeah, if y'all live in Louisiana and y'all want to be like you're interested in vaulting, y'all can definitely contact her. Um, from me and her talking, she was saying that she's one of the first and I think maybe the only vaulting lesson person in Louisiana so yeah <laughs> uh, then we had then y'all seen the guy that did the raining demonstration and then the lady that did the vaulting she is also a farrier by trade so she does farrier services as well and then they had kids around the community that have never rode a horse before and they rode horses was going through something apparently they've been having a clinic for probably the past week or the past couple days so that's basically a short kind of spiel of what all the demonstrations meant and what was going on so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and we're gonna be heading back home all right guys, so I just finished editing this and realized that I didn't film an outro. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope that I gave y'all some pretty good information out there. I could have filmed more, but sometimes whenever I go out to places like that, I just like to sit and enjoy and I don't feel like I have to film everything. So yeah, that's kind of part of why like I'm a little bit critical about my vlogs, but also in a sense, it's like, I can't let it run my life, kind of in a sense. And I hope that you guys understand that. So, But we will be coming out with a winter prep vlog next Sunday for the horses and everything. So basically our ice storm that we had endured at the beginning of, or middle, middle, middle of January. <laughs> Said I'm, I'm a little bit everywhere here the middle of January. So we're gonna be going over some of that stuff because winter is not necessarily done yet. So I cannot wait to show y'all everything that has been going on. We're getting really close to showing those vlogs. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will be seeing y'all next time. Bye guys.